In episode 46 of Ark Building Evolved, we design a boathouse for a fisherman, and we design a house for the fisherman on top of it. How cool is that? We also throw together a very unique looking dock and one of the coolest roofs I have built in a very long time. I know it looks sloppy, but that was the design. A ramshackle, thrown together, loose shingle, scrappy old roof, and we pull it off by mixing and matching materials. This is episode 46 of Building Evolved, and I hope you enjoy it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Building Evolved with me, UTC. And this is our creative building series for Ark Survival Evolved. It has been going on many, many, many episodes. Now we're deep into the 40s, and um, I have a new idea to bring to you. This this recent return has brought us back to the center map and back to Coal Harbor in this port city that we have been constructing over many, many episodes. And uh, the, the project for today is a uh, fishing hut. Somehow we have yet to do that. If you want to go back and re, uh, re sort of uh, re-immerse yourself in the series, uh, all the links for the previous playlists are in the description. Uh, but we did this entire harbor. We have planned all of these docks, including that one with the giant crane out there. This is a pretty good angle to look at it. And we have done it all with cargo and shipping in mind. These are feeding troughs with... Uh, tables lodged inside these are storage bins and preserving bins and all kinds of stuff that basically just looks like ship cargo what we have not addressed is the idea of somebody fishing out here and i think that could be a very fun uh, challenge for today i have found some pretty inspiring images to get us started and i think this is the area i'm going to use right uh, down here so i have a few different design a few different things in mind that stand out from the images I'm looking at. I'm picturing a sort of a thin dock that extends out, maybe with a lamp post, uh, light post type setup on the end. And I think this boat will end up getting moved. Um, one of the versions of the docks I looked at had a built-in sort of boathouse where you could sail a dock straight in underneath. And most of them are built up sort of vertically, either on stilts or sort of like multiple buildings stacked on top of each other. Um, and I like that concept. So I think I'll go with something like that. And the other thing that they have in common is they tend to look pretty ramshackle. They will often have these kind of uh, roofs made of what looks like different materials or loose shingles. And I'm wondering if by combining a couple of different roofing materials, allowing them to cross over, because of course we don't just have uh, structures plus. Um, it, obviously over here there's some castles and keep stuff, but today we're going to stick to the vanilla and the S plus. Um, but we have the no clip method and foundation support turned off, which gives us true power as builders. I think it's the only way to play if you are a builder. Now you may be seeing some buildings over here that are works in progress, including the church. I'm not sure the order these episodes will come out, um, but uh, but if you do see some some semi finished or, or some stuff I haven't addressed yet, don't worry, it will come. I will explain and show off all these buildings. So this is the area I have in mind. I think I will attempt to incorporate this rock into it and have the first of our buildings be built up here and maybe angle a dock out that way. Uh, to get started, I am going to move the boat out of the way. I am going to slap a some foundations and, and things like that in. If you find yourself enjoying the episode, click the like button, dive into the comments and chat with me. And uh, I will be back when I have the beginnings of our fishing hut. And welcome back, geeks. So uh, I, I recorded a chunk very briefly after building up quite an insane thing here. And I looked at it at the end of the recording and decided it was crazy and didn't look good at all. So I have tried to reel in uh, the craziness and the insane techniques and simplify things, and I didn't want to get too far without bringing you back for the process. So uh, you have a staircase that leads down to a dock. Now the dock, if you didn't see the, the tips and tricks video on how to flip things upside down, definitely did that. So these are upside down ceilings along here with upside down wooden railings, and then uh, down the middle, regular ceilings lines right up with this. So this will be the fisherman's dock. I'll have to do more to it to make it look like a fisherman's dock. I haven't figured that all out yet. And so under the staircase, I have ramps set back a half foundation, and we've used the S plus stairs, uh, railings on angles. And then if you look here, you go, there's something, what is going on? What is going on? And in my upside down, all my upside downing yesterday as I worked on that tips and tricks video made me wonder, can you make a foundation go upside down? And the answer is yes, uh, if it clips into the ground. So that is an upside down wood foundation. Um, and a basically you go up a half wall 
and up a half wall halfway through this one and up a half wall and yet again there is another upside down wooden foundation so i believe that's number one on my hot bar boom looks something like that pretty crazy uh pretty crazy technique and we can snap it uh, if we wanted to we could snap yeah you know what uh it, it, there's a billion different places you could do it but if i remove this that is what it begins to look like and it's quite i think quite the cool technique um so let's put this back and I, I basically just used them so that uh, I've used them to frame in the staircase, top, bottom, left, and right, because I couldn't get them everywhere. Now, uh, as for this uh, part that the house is going to be built off of, I have a couple things in mind. And the first of which is that it is going to have a fishing boat. Nice jump, idiot. Nice jump! That's much better. Uh, it is going to have a fishing boat in the bottom of it. So the house is going to be built up. Basically, uh, if I build off of, say, here, um, and build off of the, the bits that are out there, and the house will, will exist above the mast of the boat. Out here, I have gone and made what would be the entrance to a boathouse. So taper in just wide enough for that narrow advanced rafts long ship. I furled the sail. And then what I'm thinking is I will build up, I think that's just about the right height. Um, I'm, I'm working out on the side with uh, some railings uh, that will be in there for detail. But uh, I, I, yeah, I haven't worked it all out yet, guys. I am going to need to step away. I am recording this in advance of uh, finishing the Grand Church, which is up there. Now, depending on how things go, you might get this video first, you might get the church video first, um, but uh, in, in real time, I need to go work on that church. I have a brief moment to get together with the guy who is helping me build it, so if that video is done, I will be sure to link you to it, and then when I get the chance, I'm going to come back here and continue working on this. My favorite part is the dock. I really think that looks good. The combo of upside down and right side up with these railings, the rest of it, I could take or leave. Um, so, so we will see. I'll put some work in, and uh, I will come back to you when I have much more of a, a fishing hut to show you. Dawn is here, geeks, and I have been working through the night, and the boathouse is coming together. I have a lot of cool things to show you. Step one, I don't think I ever showed you the full extent of the foundations. Basically, stepping forward, a half a foundation, and then down a half wall over and over and over again. All the way down until I got below here and with vanilla foundations I managed to keep clipping into the ground just enough until I got to right around here and then I had to level out and then I had to a sudden drop off so I couldn't quite keep the uh, the rhythm going otherwise I would have ended up right underground but this is the underwater view of this thing and I could take these pillars all the way to the ground I suppose I could and the idea is just to frame in the entrance like so, and then what I did was create sort of a barn roof on it. Um, we're going to back up and take a look at that soon, but I really worked hard to create that uh, look of sort of ramshackleness. Is Yeah, I think that would be a word. Um, but anyway, I wanted the roof to look hodgepodge, to not look polished, and for this to look like an old beat up old building. So as it stands now, you may be looking at it wondering what's up. You know, you have the boathouse on the bottom. That up there is going to be the fisherman's house. And there will be basically the equivalent of a small uh, arched roof, maybe like one and a half walls high with a little pointed roof on top. Uh, a little house up there, and then it will extend just slightly off to the side, and there will be a little balcony off there. And I want, uh, as we come down to the dock, for you to get a feel for this. You now have that overhang. So what that is, that's a uh, sloped roof into a ramp, and the ramp has a more steep angle to it, and that gives you a bit of a barn feel. The only problem is a sloped wall doesn't fit in there, so it always has to be an, an overhang. God, I can't stop yawning, guys. It's too late in the day for me. So let's fly up here and take a look at this thing. What do you have in terms of these mixed and matched materials? You have several things. Uh, wood ramps and sloped roofs. And then Adobe. Uh, this is an Adobe, uh, an S plus Adobe ramp, which has the same angle as a sloped roof. And then the vanilla uh, Adobe has a more steep angle like the wood one and those are all painted in brown this i somehow had a snap point for an upside down uh adobe roof not what i was going for but i got it and kept it here comes another yawn <sighs> okay all right and over here 
a regular Adobe roof, and that's been painted brown everywhere as well. And what you get as you back out is a total hodgepodge, total ramshackle roof. Now, if we come over to this side, I have yet another uh, technique. This is an upside down ramp. I'm not quite sure how I got that. There is another ramp hidden underneath, and there has to be a glass ceiling right here. Uh, an invisible glass ceiling for that to stay mounted uh, and then as we go across you see more of the adobe ramps uh, s plus and vanilla and then another uh, adobe roof right there and i think it works now i'm going to attempt to create similar effect when we get up to the top but this uh, upper building will, is only too wide so it won't have layers and layers of roofs it's just going to go up and then back down on the other side I was thinking this was something we could build together, but uh, it is super late for me, guys. So I will probably do this off camera and try and get uh, this looking good for you. But um, just while I have you here, we might as well just bang out a quick shape of it so you can get a look at kind of what I had in mind. And I think that will work. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Snap point's not too messed up. And I think we may have to do that. And then this. Yep. And... If we go back across like this, obviously we'll need some more detail in and we'll have to add in doors and windows and all of that. But if I come across, give you this, we will have at least a decent idea of what this place could look like. Now, uh, the question is, do we go up a half a wall? Because we have S+, plus, so we have Adobe Railings. That means that we can do... Yeah, you know what? Maybe we go up like this. And then on top of that, you do this and this, and those can be turned into walls. Now, none of this is per needs to be permanent. Uh, let's do that. Let's do that, and let's work our way down. And then over here, I wonder if we'd be better off uh, actually increasing the height substantially of, of the place. Now, this, it's going to make sense that this is this height. Uh, as we go across like so ready ha and yeah but then maybe or maybe we keep this nice and low i'm just think thinking through my options here guys all right and just to create a little variety and interest a little depth in the building i wonder if we could build up something in the middle that's a little bit taller uh pardon me still learning my hot bar where i've got everything at the moment and put you here and that would mean building up. Yeah, we can do this. Okay, so we'll make a little test house right here, guys. Very simple when we build together and we build on the fly. Nothing too fancy. Do that. Oop. And we'll end up having something that, that at least we can kind of get a perspective on and see what we think of. And let's go ahead and find a sloped roofing material. Now, obviously, I'm going to want the ramshackle sort of roofing to this. All right, guys, I am on a roll now. I had the wrong wrong roofs on the go, but I think I've got it figured. And obviously, I mentioned we're going to want to mix up the materials like we did on the section below. But this super fast... Ooh, a little bit of lag, okay. Yeah, this super fast build will give us some perspective. Now, that is an accidental thing that it was snapping like that, but I wonder if we would benefit uh, from... Uh, well, I suppose we wouldn't necessarily have to change that, but if we would benefit from adding a point on this side uh, to change up the looks of the build, uh, and then you would have something that looks like this. These used to not work well together. Now they snap together well. Yeah, I think we'll clear this right out. And then we'll go clear out you, 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 and you. Perfect. And then right on top, we will go like this. And this will change the angles and the sort of... Oops. God, this can be so tricky sometimes, this game. I tell you what. I tell you what. There we go. And obviously, we're not done with the walls or anything yet. But this gives us a decent little perspective. And then I can go off camera and work on something. You guys can get a little bit of on-camera building. So there you go. You have this extension out the front. And I tapered the front to give it a feel like a boat. We are working on a fishing dock. I did the same thing over here. I'm wondering if you would do want to do something like, instead of these railings, a little bit more on-camera building, instead of these railings, I'm wondering if you want to come... Uh, out here like so 
and do that. Now, even if that's a, even if that's, uh, yeah, that could work for us, I think. And then you have a slope across the front of the place. Yeah, I mean, realistically, you could even remove this, remove this, 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 and this, and you guys are getting a little on-camera creative process. You could get something that looks like that. Yeah, that's not bad. And then what if you add in, I know we had this earlier, we just took it out, but what if you add in this strictly on this side? And if you mix up all the materials, all the roofing materials and the wall materials, then suddenly you're starting to have an interesting looking building, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, baby. This thing has seriously transformed. I just keep kind of derping around with it. Ooh, missing a spot over here. Then I start adding in windows and walls. One thing that I did on the other side that I thought was cool, if you go ahead and do this, we have the benefit of S plus half walls. So that allows you to do things that you normally would be a little bit difficult in Arc, which is like offset uh, your windows so that they don't match each other and they're at slightly different heights. And you just go ahead... Switch that back to a half wall, and ba-bam, things are coming together. So if we did that, and that, and you could picture maybe window frame, door frame in there uh, with glass. I went and decorated this out. Actually, you know what? I don't like that very much. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we will put a window frame there, and we'll go back to a wall right there. You know what? That's a little bit too... <laughs> Let's go... You need a window frame there, and then maybe you go back to one here and try the door frame on top of that. Yeah, you know what? There's a billion different ways you could do this, guys, but the more that I play with it, the more that I like it, and the more that it's starting to resemble a, it's starting to resemble what I set out to create, um, which is a, a wild, crazy-shaped fisherman's hut on the top of this place. Yeah, no, there's no way to do it. Okay, well, here's the thing, guys. I think I'm going to be leaving this project for the night, so I think I will. Uh, I think I will leave this uh, this chunk of the recording here. Uh, the next time I come back to you, my plan is to uh, maybe go nuts on the roof up there. We have made quite the complicated little roof, so we could do quite a few materials involved in it um, to switch to leave mainly. In s okay, so how about this? This one is mainly wood with a few little alterations. This one, why don't we say, is going to be mainly in this adobe, and we'll make a few changes to that. And really, it should come together very, very quickly, uh, I would think. Okay? All right, guys, I'm making changes all around this place, and it is coming together pretty quick. Now, somewhere along here, we're going to want to get a, another one of those adobe uh, ramps. And the trick to that is that you have to have a roof up at the top of that Luckily for us, we already do. So if I go like this. Ooh, those double layered. I don't know if we want to do that. Let's try that. You know what? Leave it double layered. Do that and uh, maybe a little bit of wood right here. No. You know what? Go back to that. Let's see about maybe a little piece of something over here. Uh, do we try... Let's do that. All right, so all we'd have to do now, we have made some serious progress. All we'd have to do now is slap a little bit of paint. I thought I was going to bed. I thought I was calling it night. Um, slap a little, here. All right, and let's do that. Let's do that, and we can make the whole thing match. Yeah, you know what, let's go ahead. Let's go around, give all the adobe a little taste of the brown paint. All right, and it's that easy. It is that easy. Now, there's a couple things I don't like. I don't like how this these two look side by side, so I wonder if maybe you would do a little bit of this. I don't. I just didn't like how the wood roof goes straight into the wood wall. I don't have the slopes on the hotbar anymore. But if I go with a sloped left and make sure it's snapped to this... No, that's not. Is that right? Yeah, there we go. A little something like that. And maybe we mix in just a few inside-out walls along with the mix. 
All right, and I found a few spaces around the build to do that, to mix in some inside-out walls with regular walls, and it continues to make this thing look even more uh, even more ramshackle. Maybe we do it with a window frame as well. That should be nice and easy, like so. Okay, I thought I, I thought we were just doing a quick slam jam together to build on camera, but I think we may have gone gone and got a, fi a fairly final look at this thing, guys. Let me, uh, it is late at night, so let me leave this. I will come back. I will see what I can do to it uh, tomorrow uh, to maybe bring some more life to it, but we have made some pretty substantial progress. We got a little fisherman's hut stacked on top of a little boathouse, and we built in a dock next to it. I would say that is a pretty good day's work, considering I also... Made some substantial progress on the church today. Still not done, but that episode is done. So I'm going to call uh, call my, an end to my night of building. And uh, a moment will pass for you guys. A night will pass for me. And I will be back in your life. I don't know if I am just getting uh, old and lazy, guys. But I feel like we kind of nailed it yesterday. As I yawned over the recording. Sorry about that. I know it's contagious. As I edited the previous chunk of the video, I yawned my head off. And just saying yawn makes me want to yawn again. But I feel like we did a good job. I made a few small changes, adding some more railings in between the boathouse and the fisherman's house. And um, I think the greatest hits of this design is that ramshackle roof. I talked about wanting it to look like it was sort of thrown together with different materials, loose shingles, all that kind of stuff. And on our first attempt, we pretty much nailed that. Uh, and then the dock, I loved that from the outset. And I mean, let's take a look before I dive in depth, guys. We're pretty much done uh, this edge of the city. I went and said, I put this wall in several episodes ago, back in episode 42, something like that, and said, you know, this is it. This is our boundary beyond here. We don't build it anymore. And that means that this end of the city, between me and the geeks, we will take a look at their builds in a future episode. This end of the city is pretty much done. We've been using our imaginations and going, how do these people eat? Well, maybe they bring things in through trade, whatever, but uh, we thought today that they needed a fisherman's hut. I mean, they need a guy who goes out and brings in the daily catch, and that's who whose house we built today. So uh, I was a little disappointed at the lack of decor options, and I had to delve into the mods. I think in vanilla, all you have are these fish baskets. Those are vanilla, right? Um, and so I went in and found a ship's helm to decorate the point of that house up there, and uh, some anchors, as well as uh, buckets and benches and things like that tucked into this little boathouse. I really like the overall layout that we ended up with. And as you come over here, got another anchor hanging down here. This one may be a bit more decorative than anything. And as you come out to the end of the dock, you have a little bit too vibrantly colored life preserver. You've got a spot to sit and fish, more of the baskets, and a little ship smithy. All, all the additional stuff is from the advanced rafts mod. And I feel like that's just enough to bring this place to life. Now let's talk, guys, about the next series of episodes as we decide that this one, episode 46, is finished. It may be a week before you get another good run of episodes, but the next run is going to be more imagination, more thinking about these people and what this city needs to feel more alive. And we're going to be talking about animals. Now, obviously, uh, this harbor is infested with ichthyornis and pelagornis. You see one flapping in the sun just out there in the distance, right? And, uh, you know, the big rocks around town have Pelagornis on them and things like that. Is there one floating sitting out on this thing? Yeah, there you go. Uh, and so uh, those are wild creatures. What about the tamed beasts? The beasts of burden. And there are three that I have chosen to put in this city. And in the next series of episodes, we will be diving into them, role-playing, and using our imaginations to figure out how they come into play in the city. First is this the mighty Megatherium, and I picture him having a role in agriculture. So maybe we get to work more thinking about food and how these people feed themselves, and we bring the Megatherium into play. Uh, the church, since I saw you guys last, has really come together, and that, you know, I can tell by my frame rate dipping down at around 20-something as I look up at this thing, that our work in this town is nearly done. We are running out of stuff to build. My frame rate will be a good indicator of when we are truly done, but thank you to Jinji for his work on that. If you missed the previous episode, episode 45, be sure to go back and check that out. And um, I want to take a look uh, at this yeah, it looks good from just about every angle. And that's a god of the wind. That's more of us using our imagination and wondering what these people would pray for. Wind to blow away the frequent storms. Wind to power the sails of the trade ships. 
Uh, and and I think I think that adds something to the city, at least for me, and I hope it does for you as well. Now, elsewhere in the city, we have more beasts, more beasts of burden, including this, the Cal- another Therium, the Calico Therium, and he is going to be the horse. So when we return and do some episodes on animals, I think we'll have to work out a stables. Maybe it'll be cavalry for the city guard. Maybe they ride this. Or maybe it'll just be the commoners, and this is their common mount. This is the equivalent of the equus for these people. And then last but not least, we have the heavy lifter, the hauler. And there he is, guys, as we approach another, uh, the most unfinished chunk of the city. This is the area that needs the most work at, uh, done to it. We have this, the, another Therium, the Pariser Therium, and he, I always imagined, as a truck, the equivalent of a transport vehicle that would take the goods that you load up on your docks and bring them deeper into the city, potentially uh, moving in and out of the city gates to and from the docks. He is the, the, the beast that powers the commerce of the city um and uh and a mighty one at that so when i picture him i picture maybe a uh a place where they get these carts loaded onto and off of their backs maybe we have a pasture for them and maybe uh we build a couple of these carts on the ground and another crane who knows what but all of these are ideas that are inhabiting my mind but i'm gonna need a little time to get back to this and to get re-inspired because i just found out that I have access to the Council, Episode 2. Now, if you're not familiar with that, it is a story-driven game that I played back in March when it came out. And like most Telltale games, uh, another sort of its competitor in terms of story-driven games, it is episodic. And we got part Episode 1 in March. Episode 2 has arrived. It is not out until May 15th, which is probably the day after you're seeing this but I get to play it now, and I am so giddy that it means I'm putting all my Building Evolve projects on the back burner to go dive into that story and to see what happens next to Louis de Richet and the other characters in the story. If you missed that, please click on the link. Uh, please please click on the, uh, the playlist that's popping up on your screen right now and go watch my playthrough of The Council Episode 1. It's a little different, but I think if you guys enjoy me and my style, uh, you will want to watch me play a game with as good a story as that. I hope I'm making a convincing pitch. So consider going to check out The Council. Uh, click on the playlist for Building Evolved and go back uh, to Episode 45 and check out the work that I did with my pal Jinji on this church and stay tuned. Let me know in the comments what you like about today's episode and what you're most eager to see next as we dive into the Calico Therium, Mega Therium, and Paris Therium. Um, but expect a bit of a slower week from Building Evolved and um, when I come back I will come back hard and we will finish this town. It is nearly done. There is not too much more to do and together we will finish it. All right geeks, before the storm rains me out, thank you so much for watching. I'm UTC and I will see you in the next episode of Ark of Building Evolved. <laughs>